time they've had a negative play, they've been punting. This time, great move there by Bosey. So In the NFL this season well, for a team. Hey, man, don't tell me about 13 years. The hand swat right there gets around the tight edge, puts the... Daniel Jones. Well, they put the tight end, Bellinger, to his side, but oh. Micah Parsons takes the inside rush, and he just steamrolls Glasgow right there. Donald shot out of a cannon. Watch this. Some sort of miscommunication. There's Aaron Donald with the quick. Off the sack. It's about running over the left tackle, Dan Moore. Both these guys from Texas A&M. He goes over top of him. It actually affects the throw. Jewel able to clean it up. That drive would have been extended with a 15-yard penalty, and instead they give up a sack. Most notably, Alex Highsmith goes with a little bit of an outside move to Wills, and then he gives him a spin move back to the inside actually accelerates through that spin he has a chip there's no need to sit see how deep he gets now he gives that under that's not easy there's Aaron Donald big 99 right there with the bull rush and then watch him chase this thing down he is playing exceptional football but you see that right there just over the top little swim move there rough couple of downs here 63 just gets bull rushed and Frank Clark showing you down the mantle is Swung over to 56, Highsmith, and you could see there's just nothing they could do there. Watch 97 on the edge, and of course, they've been moving him outside, especially against the run, where T.J. Watt would normally be. They've been moving a Liao there. Seven-step drops, guess what we're going to do? We're going to be able to get to the edge right here. I mean, you're down there at about 11 yards deep, and just keep on working. Watch this move up, under, here we go. This is signature stuff from Randy Gregory. Dallas kid when you get pressure off the edges and then you get this push look at Hargrave from just low plane to high plane just since take a timeout you know you do get pressure you get it pretty quickly but what the Bears really don't have is a coming up 55 13 years in the league tied for fourth all time just took fourth all time all by himself at 59 and a half now 60 watch him right in the middle of your screen Plays the inside gap, boom, feels the spin move and gets right back up. Locked up on the tight end. That's where we're going over here. And watch him just cut right through Dallas. Got it, got it. You got to step inside. You got to step inside hard. You know you're getting pinch on that. He doesn't get that foot down. Coming off the edge. Look at you're sitting at five. You drop back to 11 yards right now. And so you turn that corner. He came out. He was hoping to throw that ball to Cole Beasley on the little choice underneath. Kenny Clark is one of the premier interior. Crosby's just going to come. And you know what I like about Max Crosby? They say, oh, he's a high motor guy. No, he is really athletic. Well, Jones is like, oh, I got a penalty. I need to, like, kick this guy's tushy in right here. <laughs> well, we've met with him so many times. He's such a mild-mannered guy. Give Evan Neal an opportunity, and he doesn't even get uh, a hand or anything to slow Demarcus Lawrence down. Watch a big J.J. Watt right in the middle of your screen, 99, with the swim move. Well, they got the rookie Evan Neal at right tackle, and here comes to Mar Marcus Lawrence, and, and Neal just is not anticipating the speed that Lawrence has off the edge. Pound outside and work his way right back to the quarterback. This was just brute strength, really, working against Garrett Bowles. Whoa. And once again, for Russell Wilson, it needs to either be a let's get it out of there. Kyle Shanahan say about this guy, Greg Jackson down here at the bottom of the screen. They said he is going to be end up being a special one. And here he comes. You could see the blitz look. And for Russell Wilson. That's just a, a push sack. You're just pushing. You don't have a great lane to the quarterback. And once he tries to get out of the pocket. Cannot blame Garrett Bowles for this one. Hyder's going to come around the edge, but he's blocked. This is strictly a coverage sack all the way. Three routes run by example. And he said that you have to stay intense. You have to do all those same things that you did that made you a great player. A former teammate of mine, he's working up at the top. Him and Preston Smith. Jefferson's just going to split the defenders. You see him engaged right here and they're working. Well, watch him on the edge out here. Here comes Terrell Lewis. Watch him hold his contain on the outside, and then at the last second, he pounces on him. Third down. Watch as the play fake comes to Singletary. Allen pulls it. Davis 
Here comes TJ Edwards. He does the pick. Davis loops around being that big, that athletic, and they just finish it up. Everybody meet at the quarterback. And what you're always trying to do against these 240, 245, and not an all-out pressure. You just don't get the blocking that you need up front. You see, guys, three runners at the quarterback. Yes, I feel a lot safer. And then <laughs> one thing, one way to negate that is just go with the full-on blitz, get off the blocks. Man, Max Crosby, he's been having a really good game. You don't have the sacks, and everyone's saying, oh, him. First down, Cincinnati. Throughout this game, the Jets have done a pretty decent job of trying to help out on these. But in this case, it's the interior guys that create the pressure. Sheldon Rankin's 98, Quinnen Williams 95. And he's going to line up and yep. then come to the inside. Came into today, Kevin, with two sacks. Vaughn Miller is saying high praises of, of Greg and the, the, the work that he puts in. Get the ball back. Yeah, and it's Rashad Weaver off the edge. What you're going to see is that the offensive line, they slid, the center slid to the other side where Danico Autry just got pressed. Who's all around the football, comes up with a recovery. And this is Matt Ryan. You got to throw it in the dirt right here. Check the ball down. Unbelievable effort by Dunlap coming all the way around. The crazy thing is, is like you said, Joe, I mean, the amount of snaps that he plays every game. This is one of the major focal points. Buckner creates the pressure so Mahomes has to move. The front four has to win. You cannot blitz Mahomes over and over and expect to win. He's like one of the greatest of all time against the blitz, but... It's only the second sack for the Saints this year. That's been something they've tried to improve on. And, doing so. and the first by Ingram. Losses seven. Ingram's coming off the edge. Bill's fortunate to get this ball back. So watch right here. You got to check your guy. I mean, this is Dietrich twice. He's already got one sack. Just a bad set coming off. Daniel Falele is beat immediately. Nowhere to step up. Heavy pressure off the edge. And then Cox just collapsed in the pocket. Look at him get down. Both hands inside. Working against Daniel Falele. Dietrich Wise just kind of gets on that upfield shoulder and then gets square. Round pick will get credit for the stop. Supposed to be a pass rusher, but how about Jermaine Johnson holding the point of attack against the... It's combination, right? Fletcher Cox here, Sweat here. You get the upfield pressure, but you've got to have that inside presence. You see Cox, push, push, push. Nowhere to step up, and Josh Sweat gets the sack. They're going to move this way, and it frees up a nice gap there for Okechobee to be able to slide through there. A little miscommunication there with the right guard, Wyatt Teller, not able to come down hard enough to help Posick out. They were sliding because of that blitz, and third and one.